they are inherently unequal. They're not focused on equitable outcomes. They are actually strategies to actually perpetuate those inequities. Many of our policies and our practices and our structures actually perpetuate inequities with the very systems that we are trying to change as part of the math pathways and the consensus panel work and with the recommendations that we have laid out. We have to convince the people who are in the positions to make those decisions about changing the policies and the structures and those practices to actually come on board with the recommendations and understand not only that they need to be done, but the complexities behind what needs to happen for them to be achieved. In order for this work to happen, we cannot try to fit a desire to achieve equitable outcomes within the current structures. We've got to be willing to dismantle those structures and those policies and rebuild them in a way that actually supports the success of our students. So two of the biggest challenges that I think with actually making the recommendations a reality will be actually changing the mindsets of the people who are going to be implementing these policies, whether that's from the policy makers, whether that's from the district leaders, from the teachers across the board. There is a mindset shift that needs to come in realizing and being able to ascertain what our students need. And then, of course, building the capacity to do so. These are great and grandiose and the right recommendations for where we need to be right now as a country, especially when we're talking about math pathways and the success of the students who have been minoritized and marginalized in our educational systems.